Today we will smoke some fish. You don't really need anything special to do this. You'll just need your charcoal grill, some charcoal, and some wood chips. So you'll need to soak your wood chips first and these are becoming more and more easy to find at your grocery store in all different kinds. You can find cherry wood and apple wood, peach, I got that at the grocery store. Um, if you don't have a grocery store that carries it, you can also find them on Amazon. So you'll need to soak your wood chips for about 15 to 20 minutes and while those are soaking, we'll go ahead and get our fish ready. If you intend on eating the skin, go ahead and remove your scales. And now we're going to salt our fish. You'll want to salt it on both sides. And we're going to let that sit inside for about 20 minutes. So our wood chips have been soaking for about 20 minutes. And we'll just drain them and put them inside some tin foil and wrap them up. And then give the smoke a way to escape the tin foil. So you want to poke some holes in there or somehow just put a hole on the top of the tin foil. And you can do this with a gas grill as well and then just place your pouch right on top of the ashed over charcoal and put your grate on top and then wait for it to start smoking. So here's my fish and the salt has removed a lot of the moisture and I need to rinse off all of this salt. What this is doing is um, putting a layer on top of the fish which is going to absorb that smoke flavor. This is a really important step to do when you're smoking your fish. And then you can go ahead and just place it right on the grate, cover it up, and let it smoke away. And this will take anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. And I let it go 15 minutes. It was great. It had some smoke flavor on it, and it was nice and still very moist on the inside. But I let it go 30 minutes too, and it was a little drier, but it had a lot more smoke flavor. So you be the judge of how you like to cook your fish. And now it's ready, so I'm just going to remove it separating it from the skin because I'm also going to cook the skin and I took the skin off as well so I'm just going to season it with a little bit of oil and seasoning and then I put it back on the grill I had to fire up my uh, charcoal a little bit more to get it cooked crispy so I won't bore you with that step but I just served it up with some fresh lettuce from the garden and I made some creamy cucumber dill salad earlier I'll leave a link to that if you'd like to see how you can make it. I think um, like a smoky salmon goes really well with creamy, cool cucumbers. And then I just had some nasturtiums also, some edible flowers, some fresh dill, and the crispy salmon skin. I also enjoy using this hot smoked salmon chilled in the place of cold smoked salmon in some recipes. So here's an example of an appetizer I made with some cucumber and it turned out really nice. Um, also, I like to use it uh, just in salads. It's almost a good replacement for bacon. It's so smoky and it's just wonderful. So I do hope that you can try this out. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day.